ready to uh, I'm ready to take the dub here, man. Two teams, Lojo and myself versus One Rod and Flair. How many points is this, Flair? We've each chosen a random destination within the United States. Lojo and I sent Flair and One Rod to New Orleans, Louisiana, also known as Sportsman's Paradise. And well, they sent us to Arizona. Are you serious? Each team has a budget of $1,000. Each species we catch will give us 100 points. But for every dollar we spend, it'll take one point away from our team. Follow along as we go head to head in the Guggen US Challenge. somewhere to go catch a fish. That's what we're after. We're doing a challenge right now. It's One Rod versus myself, okay? Uh, versus Lojo and John B. We got dropped off in Louisiana. We're at New Orleans, never been here before. And we have a very, very strict budget where we don't want to rent a car, we don't really want to get a hotel. Yeah, do you guys have any availability for tonight? Well, really all we gotta do is catch as many species as we possibly can. So we wanna see if one of you guys can come out and pick us up from the airport. And there will be a nice bonus if you guys pick us up. We'll, get, we'll give you a little hookup. Okay, right on. Um, it says uh, zone two and uh, I think we're at nine. Okay, all right. Okay, that sounds good. We'll... Okay, thanks man, appreciate it, bye. What did you say? We got a ride. We got a ride. We got a ride. So he said he's like 35 minutes away. Okay. So we'll just hang out. If a, if a viewer shows up, we'll have a bomb here and yeah. then we'll have him pick us up at the canal yeah, after. Yeah, perfect, that's awesome, that's better. But, Who is that? Who is that guy? So it's, it's uh, I think his name's Charlie. He said Charlie. But you know Greg Hackney? Yeah, he's one of my it's favorite It's his son. Really? Yeah. How do you have your number? I, he, him and I are talking on social media. Oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. I got So I posted Zach, my old camera guy, knows him. He saw oh. our post, called him, gave him my number, and he called me. Gotcha, gotcha. So he's the guy with the boat fishing. Yeah, I said boat fishing. Wow. So he's supposed to come He's supposed to come pick us up. Did he just hop out of work to come get us? Or? He's fast. He said he's in the truck headed I, here. I, I think that's literally what he did. He's <laughs> fast. So... Well, we're gonna hang out here. There's a chance a viewer shows up. Uh, well, a viewer is showing up, but a random viewer, I should should say. Uh, but we're gonna hopefully get picked up here and catch some fish. So stay tuned. What's up? Did you come pick us up? Yeah, he did. You did. You did. Well, it was yeah. him. It was, it was him. him. It was him. It was him. <laughs> he told us. He told us. I, I called BS. I'll, I'll literally be there in 15 minutes. See, Tyler. There you go. Tyler. There you go. I will be here for you, Tyler. Right there. I highly doubt you're actually coming. Dude, you're a lifesaver. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Shout out, Tyler. You, what, you let me know when you get your captain's yeah, license. I'll let you we'll know. come back and catch a fish with you. All right. All right. Take care, man. Have All a good right. one, man. Well, we're at the first spot, City Park. I see a bridge. We got to get some bass lures on. I think we need to get the largey knocked out right away. I'm actually going to put on the micros, try to oh. catch like a crappie or something. You know, we don't need big fish. We need species. So we're going to work as a team here. Whatever will go for the largies, I'll go for whatever small species might be in here. Our next charter guys, I say charter, they're not actually charter, well he might be, but not charters, that sounds bad. We didn't hire any guys for this, I promise. But he just pulled up, our next ride, so I said, we're gonna try to catch a largemouth, so he's gonna come hang out with us, and maybe he has some tips for us. Heck yeah, let's do it. All right, you got a bait caster? Uh, yes sir, let's see, let's see right there. How's it going? What was your name? Charlie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, how's it going? Doing all right. Nice to meet you, bro. How's it going, Charlie? Nice to meet you. Let's tell me a little bit about what you're thinking. You, you, um, you have some, so some species we can go after. A little bit farther down the road, like towards the uh, end of the, uh, like the boot. Okay. Uh, they got a couple ponds that they got some, some big ones. They got so down here they have a lot of burrow pits, which is like, uh, they got big excavators that'll come and dig these big old sand pits. Okay. And then they fill them back up with water and fish. Yeah, like a sand. Okay, yeah, sand so pit. These, That's like we yeah. got sand pits. Nice. So that's that's where I fish bass, like whenever I'm just on the bank fishing. So as far as, so do you do bow fishing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that what you want to do tonight? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. What do we? What what species do we go after that? Redfish. I mean, you can bow fish redfish. Yes. Only state in the United States that you can bow fish redfish. <laughs> I feel I've never heard of that before, but yeah. I'm all about it. 
Drop it right on him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give it a little rip. Oh wow, we are! No way! No way! First cast! First cast! Get him in, Lord! Get him in! Get him in! Get him in! Oh my God! That was the first cast! Literally, literally, my first. How did you just do that? That was the first cast. I saw, dude. I saw him. You saw him blow up. Hey. He's probably, he's probably guarding Fry. You saw Fry, yeah, right? Yeah, there's Fry. Yeah, probably yeah, yeah. guarding Fry. That is literally my first cast Are in you Louisiana. Serious? And I catch a freaking bass. Okay, we're on to the next thing now. I'm like, well, we got all ready and Woo! Wow, dude. All right, well, what's next? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe I want to go do it. No. <laughs> Maybe you could do just about everything. Dude, you're, there's no way that just happened. <laughs> it just happened, man. <sighs> Get him! Got him? Bro, my, my net holes are too big. Shoot, the fish is too small. We'll try again. I see some little minnows by these rocks. Definitely not bass. So if I catch one, they're still over there. So my plan is to try to scoop up a bunch of weeds, get them caught in the weeds, get another 100 points. Oh, I got him! I got him this time! Bro! I got another fish! Ow! Ow! Something's stinging me! Ah! Ant biting me! What is this? Fire ant! Oh sh! Oh sh! <laughs> hurts, dude! <laughs> hurts! It bite, my, it bite me through my pants! <laughs> what the what Ow! Wow! Wow! Fire ant! Are there fire ants here? Oh yeah, they, they, that thing's hurt! <laughs> what? Dude, Are you fire kneeling on a nest? I guess! I was right there! Wait, so would you get something or no? Yeah, the fish! What is it? It's though? a fish! It's, it's a bluegill minnow, right? Yeah, I'll tell you how to figure this out. Watch this, watch this. Extreme Philly fishing? No, no, I don't uh, know. I was gonna I'm gonna use Google app, but yeah, that might work. Okay, I might see. put him on his bait. Oh, oh, the killer fish! That could be it. It's, that, it's just not a bass, which is all that matters. So yeah. We're not gonna catch one of these again. Alright, well, let's take a picture just so we can uh, truly identify. I'm gonna send this to Leo, and he's gonna get back to me. Yeah, as long as it's not a large amount, that's all that matters. Beautiful. I'm gonna throw this on the hook. Go for it, go for it. Hey, 200 points, John and Lojo. Hope you guys are enjoying your time in the desert. They sent us to Arizona? Are you serious? Well, here we are in Phoenix. A lot of things happened. A lot of hiccups went on down the road to get this challenge started off with. By the way, welcome to the Guggen US Challenge. We thought we would do the boys dirty by some Louisiana. No oh, way, first cast! First cast! That's a reward us! A place they're not familiar with. But they really one upped us. Arizona, we flew into Phoenix. Super late, it's 8 p.m. All day I've been watching stories of Flair and One Rod catching fish. We are losing currently, and we just not got to our destination. Here's the thing too. I don't know where Lojo's at. I've got no idea. He's landed. He's been here for like four or five hours. I gotta get a hold of him. We gotta figure out if we're gonna get a rental car or if we're gonna hitchhike or maybe I have to sell my liver to increase the budget of this challenge, which by the way, is $1,000. Throughout the next couple days, we've got the opportunity to use $1,000 to spend however we want in order to catch numbers, species. This is the whole point. We're trying to collect all the species. So we're in kind of a weird spot right now where uh, I really don't know what lives in Arizona. I would assume probably a lot of bass, a lot of bluegill, and we have to basically catch more than them. Um, they're on the coast, which puts, at us, puts us at a, a huge disadvantage. I thought maybe they'd be, at least be nice and send us to California or something to have the option to salt water, but we're, we're kind of landlocked. I'm gonna go pick up our bags and go find Lojo. This is not starting off good. We're ready. Let's get the hell out of here. We got the goods, we got some mullet. We got some weights. I think we already had some hooks. Spent 14 bucks, Mike. Yep. It's painful. Hurts. But the thing is, we already have two species, so we, you know we're we're definitely ahead right now. Still have plenty of money. Now we're headed to the river. Head Catfishing. River. Mississippi River. Yep. Catfish. Mississippi River catfish. Stay tuned. Yep. Oh, yeah. it looks like some. Oh no, there's. Oh, it's a gator. It's oh. an alligator. Oh my God, there's a gator right there. Oh, now I'm really scared to go crawl down in that. There's a, there's a literal out. That's an alligator, dude. Will they eat cut bait? Oh yeah. Don't oh, God, don't say that. I don't want to catch <laughs> that sucker. Whoop! Oh wow, it's pretty deep over there. Like 25 feet. Yeah, it's pretty deep. This gator friend's really shown a big interest in me, so I'm gonna try to barter with him and give him some mullet, which could go one of two ways. One. 
He sees me as the mullet plug and respects me and doesn't attack. Two, he comes after me once he is done eating the mullet and I ran out of mullet. I'm hoping it's kind of like, you know, so you break into someone's house, not that I've done that, and they've got an angry dog, you throw him a steak and then continue. I'll try to do the same thing. I'm gonna try to throw him some mullet, continue to fish, he leaves me alone. See what happens. Here he comes, here he comes. Ooh, you gotta work for it, buddy. Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, it's a good try. That was a good attempt. Let's try again. Let's see if he wants to try a little harder. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's like, just like a real mullet. Let's see how close we can get what him. Don't bring him up here, you <laughs> s***. <laughs> oh, you scared him, bro. You'll be quiet. That action. Oh, he got it. He's in his mouth. Oi, he's in his mouth. He doesn't want to let go of the fish. Boy, oh, boy. Call John. There's another, another 100 point. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, He's not letting go of the fish. Bro, hey buddy, Larry, get my net. Larry, get my net. I ain't touching no net. Uh, this guy's pretty heavy. This guy's got some beef on him. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, shit. There's like 10 of them. Larry, if I get him close, I want you to grab his tail. Are you out of your mind? Grab his tail, bro. I've got, I've got eight pound Google fluorocarb. This stuff's pretty strong. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> step on he's that not side. hooked. Step he's on not. that side so he goes right on the other side okay. of the rod. All right. Oh, oh he's he death goes. rolling. There he's he death goes. rolling. Oh, oh okay. there he goes. <laughs> Oh, that was eight pound line. Eight pound Guggen floor carbon, bro. Oh my God. That's he, finally, no he finally death rolled. And feel, feel the line. Feel how frayed. Look, that was in his teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, that's all it's all frayed. There he's right there. there he's he eating is. it. He's eating yep. it. He worked hard for that meal. Oh, Mike. Mike. Oh, no. Mike. <laughs> oh, no. Mike, we might need to get out of here. Look at <laughs> We got the whole fleet. There's like seven caters that are going to go. Oh, there's another one coming over there. Okay, oh. I think it might be time to go, bro. What do you think? It's <laughs> crazy to me. I've never seen this. Well, Mike, you brought about seven or eight gators. He's back. Yeah, he's right there. Chilling. He wants. To, I'm gonna throw him. In, I'm gonna throw him one more. You gotta make. You gotta make it wiggle, bro. I don't, you gotta land. Oh, land it on top of his head. He'll eat a reaction strike. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Oh! Told Lojo to meet us at the rented car place at Phoenix International. But he's nowhere to be found. He is somewhere else. Okay? He just texts us. He says, "I am 15 minutes away from y'all's location. I just sent him a pin, and apparently he's not near." This is not starting off good. Let's go get a car before these places close. Oh, we're, at, we're actually, I don't know if this will help, but we're filming a, like a, you ever seen The Amazing Race? Huh? You ever seen The Amazing Race? Like the, we're filming something like that and uh, we're trying to, like I got a thousand dollars, I need to keep it within the budget. Like what do you think it's gonna cost me tonight? I'm gonna call the manager and... Okay, cool. Yeah man, thank you. There he is. <laughs> there you are. It's good to see you. All right. Good to see you. Uh, no protection. I made it. Do you want to bring it back full or empty? We're out here, but they give you 10 cents discount. Okay. Yeah, bring it back full, right? Yeah. Super. Yeah. There you go. Bring it back full. Bring it back to them empty, then we'll be full. Right. This was the longest and strangest journey that has ever brought me and John together. I can assure you of that. I actually got here like... Uh, 12 hours ago. <laughs> so this is the first friendly faces I've seen in a very long time. It's been uh, quite a ride. Not to mention the Uber rides. I've had two Uber drivers today and they've both been bad for different reasons. But the most recent guy was driving like a maniac. So whenever he stopped, I just jumped out of the car. I mean, I didn't even know where I was at the airport. I just got out because his driving skills were that bad. And then I realized I was still 20 minutes away from John somehow, but by God, we're here now. I think we found our car. It's not quite the fishing mobile we're after, but she gets good gas and she's kind of sexy, Ella. So we got two gallons of water, yep. six meals of ramen, yes. two Slim Jims, two bags of chips. Total? 30.83. 30? Inflation, baby. God, man, that darn inflation gets you. 15 bucks a pop? I feel like we could have went to <laughs> any restaurant and did the... <laughs> Mike, we definitely just got screwed. Fifteen dollars? You can get a steak dinner on Applebee's for that. Hey, we don't got time though. We gotta get on the water. We got fish to catch. Is that really? Mike. You ready? Pull it all the way back. battery once and then it died. Luckily we weren't far from the ramp. That was nice. Um, so now we're taking a, a knife and cutting. I've never seen this before. Look at that. 
cutting cutting the wires. Cutting them open, exposing them. Then you're just gonna wrap them around the terminal. Yeah! yeah. I mean, yeah. oh my God. I got a stingray. Yeah, rip, rip, rip my guy Steve. We're this avenging is... Steve Irwin right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, f you. <laughs> I love Steve Irwin. Dude, that thing is crazy. Oh, Are those rare? Are we in freshwater or what? What this are we in? This is kind of brackish. Bra is yeah. that kind of rare or not oh, really? No. So this oh, thing can no. really just like hurt you back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that thing can mess you up. Rip my guy Steve. Good. What's any of that? What's any of John to pick of that, bro? Hey, yeah, do you think John will accept that or no? Hey, it's a fish. That's a fish species. That's a that's a fish. That's a fish in my that's opinion. A fish. Yeah, hold that shit up to your face. Hold Mike, that shut up, Mike. Right. I ain't hold <laughs> my face. <laughs> I can't I shot a stingray. What in the hell? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Right <laughs> off the bat. Right off the bat. Starting off with the stingray. And of course, it happens right when I was reloading my arrow. I told we, you it happened. We saw something good right you. when I was reloading my arrow. I said, because Mike's like, should I shoot the little mullet? I'm like, yeah, you can. So the second you start goofing off, something cool happens. That's what happened. That's why we have two shooters. Well, that's a fish. Yeah. You, John. Right. Channel catfish, largemouth bass, sunfish, and rainbow, rainbow trout. trout. You know, I bet my left nut there's absolutely zero opportunities <laughs> yeah. to catch rainbow trout, especially since it's going to be 100 degrees tomorrow. Right. But In Phoenix, Arizona. Um, also, too, I want to point out that we should probably be safe doing this at night. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, I mean, we got two big, tough guys here. One and a half tough guys. You got here. two big <laughs> tough guys. You got two big strapping, <laughs> fine gentlemen here. It, surely no one will will step on us. We're gonna try to give it a dangle here, folks. Community Park, in Phoenix, Arizona, in the middle of the literal middle of the night. We gotta we gotta make up for lost ground. The boys have That's shot true. us. They've killed a stingray. They caught a bass. I don't know what else they caught. They caught. Dude, like they're a, hammering us on the budget too right now. We're getting uh, our. I know, they use their Big resources. Time. I'm not creative. You know, okay, I will say too, the reason why we had to rent a car is because everything is so spread out. Yeah. Like, there's like one big lake and a couple ponds around here, like period. Mm. This is one, it's public, we're gonna try it out. Try not to get shanked. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly, dude. Really? Gonna try to be safe. If we can get like a bass or a bluegill out Something, of here. Something, dude, that'd just, be even just a fish, I agree. And luckily, we came prepared. We got travel rods. We got two casting, two spinning, all two piece. Perfect for traveling scenarios. This is a U.S. travel challenge, so gotta have the goods. And also on top of that, we've got the new Guggen tackle bags, which fit so nicely in the plane today. Did you carry yours on? Dude, I did. Yeah. I checked mine just to be just to be safe because I've got hooks in here and stuff like that. But you can carry these on. They're available. Link down below. If you're going to do a trip like this, if you're going to Florida or something like that and want to do a bit of dangling, this is all you need. Yo, hit me in the arm! It's a, it was a gither shad? Well, yeah, it looks, yeah, it's a gither shad. Gither shad, baby! How's your points? Hey! <laughs> we caught it. It's in his hey, hand. I caught it! it. I caught it! Look how he hit! We're counting, we're counting it! Hey little guy! Thank you! Oh dude, dude, it's so freaking nasty! It's been a long day. We uh, ended with five species. Not bad, not bad? Uh, three of which we, two of which we caught with the rod and rail, one shot with the bow, two fell in our lap, and we're gonna take it where we can get it, alright? Uh, we ended up spending, what, 37, I think, dollars on dinner, $32, $32 yeah, on dinner. which is BS, alright, <laughs> for freaking ramen. Now, I will say, I didn't eat all my ramen, I didn't even touch the jerky, I ate maybe half the bag of chips, so I'm going to say I got two meals out of mine, you maybe got close to two meals, you ate three things of ramen, which was very impressive to be honest. <laughs> yeah, all but that food's gone. Maybe like, uh, maybe like two and a half, three, it was probably three meals worth, so maybe like ten bucks a meal, still insane for gas station ramen. Uh, and we're headed off the water now. I think we are gonna break down and get a motel, um, just so we can get a good night's rest, get a good shower in, uh, get ready for tomorrow. So I think tomorrow's plan, we don't have one. 
but I, we're gonna try hey. saltwater fishing. Yeah. So I'm not sure uh, what th what these guys have going on here, Andrew and Charles. Uh, if they if they're free, I think Charles I think has his final exam tomorrow. Yeah, so, he's not free. So I probably shouldn't. He probably should. He should probably do that. School, yeah. school, stay in school. Um, but we'll talk to these guys. Maybe they know a guy that could take us out. I really think we got to get on the saltwater grind. Like today was super fun. Good. We established a good base. We got five fish. Uh, I think the other team hasn't even wet a line yet. Correct. But like I said, we're gonna do just 48 hours, so we'll end before they end. So it'll be fair. Okay. I want to hear it in the comments. Uh, but we got to get in salt water tomorrow. That's it. Whether it's inshore, offshore, salt water is gonna have the most species. So I think that's the plan tomorrow. Go get a hotel tonight. Cheapest motel. Hopefully we don't come home with anything we didn't get here with. And uh, hope we catch some fish. Stay tuned. The urban landscape is coming to life right now. <laughs> Lots of noises. I'm waiting to hear a gunshot, honestly. Like, no joke. <laughs> the urban landscape. <laughs> yeah, dude, it is. It's really come to life. <laughs> There's noise. I think this place, I can't tell. We, it's like it's the nicest park I've ever seen. And then at the same time, somehow the water just doesn't look healthy. I can't even explain it. There's a smell to the air that's not great. The water's kind of like milky. I can't tell whether it's stained or clear. It just doesn't seem like great fish habitat. Maybe that's just how things look in Arizona. Maybe this is just what desert fishing is. I don't know. If you don't get bit in between that 15 minute time period, we're out of here. When a man comes back from the bushes wearing no socks, when he had socks on prior to that, it just um, makes you wonder. There's questions that follow, but you know, I don't think I need to expand on it any more than that. We're gonna uh, pack things up here. Go find a hotel for tonight, try not to break the budget, and then figure out, figure out a game plan for tomorrow because uh, it is zero to presumably five or six. We, we can do better than this. We're way better than that. We're better than that. We're better than that. Yeah. All right, we'll meet Thank you guys at the hotel. Fish, fish bite, bite flare, catfish rod. Catfish rod got hit. Oh God, something's, oh, something's on the cat rod. Catfish on, catfish on, catfish on flare, catfish on. Oh, it's a hot dog, bro. Catfish on! It's big! It's a big one, dude! Oh. Is that my cat rod?